right, you little deviants. Um, I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but I finally got around to doing that little running video for you. Hopefully I'm not too close as well. Um, the first thing we need to think about is keeping your uh, approach to running as a skills-based approach, okay? Everything we do should be a skills-based approach. We should be looking at movement first. So, number one, I'm going to talk about landing your feet directly on your hip. Uh, number two, I what well, was I going to talk about? Um, I was going to talk about using your hamstrings to pull. Number three, I'm going to talk about falling. And then number four, I'm going to talk about keeping your core engaged because you don't want to be overextending. Okay, so number one, really simple drill. Hopefully this uh, you'll be able to see on the GoPro. But all I'm going to be doing is keep my core engaged. My shoulders externally rotated, so you can see I'm bringing my thumbs pointing out slightly. I am going to um, just show you how to land with your feet directly under your hips. Okay. Okay, I'm straight. So literally, with my feet directly under my hips, it's a job. From there, I can pull slightly and carry on. So what you'll see there is that it's nothing too complicated but I am landing with my feet directly under my hips. Okay, next point, you can see the, the lovely area that I'm living in at the moment, Sourcing's finest, Cambridge's finest. Okay, you'll notice that I'm also in what I call my bit shorts, just for you guys, okay? Um, next thing I'm gonna do is talk about hamstring pull. I'm gonna set up about three or four inches away from the wall, okay? Keep my midline engaged, I'm then going to pull my heel up and my knee forwards. You'll notice that I'm not lifting straight up like this. I'm pulling back using my hamstring. This is really important and it's a big thing that I see guys kind of making mistakes on. So, core engaged, abs tight, ribcage pulled down to my hips, shoulders externally rotated, eyes neutral. Pull up and back. Pull up and back. Pull up and back. Well, you notice my foot isn't flex like this, and it's not flick back, it is neutral, almost in line with my other foot, okay? I'm going to do about 20 of those on each side. Next thing we're going to talk about falling a bit more, we want to be using falling to our advantage. Essentially all running is, is falling and catching yourself over and over again. So again, I'm going to set up from the wall, okay, about a metre away, okay, Okay, my running stance, hands going out. Okay, this is the position I need to be in, okay? This is for like a fair old run. From there, I'm gonna pull up, 20 per side, okay? Okay, you notice my core's engaged still, and then I can practice. Getting that lean on. Okay, my Technique may be a bit dodgy because I've been lifting for ages and if I lose any of my gains, it's all your fault. You know, so I'm also out of breath just from this. Okay, the last thing I need to talk about is on oh, the midline. Okay, I'm gonna need to go a bit further away from you this time so I'll get the explanation in beforehand. I'm gonna hold my hands out forwards, my thumbs, let me say this. My thumbs are gonna be linked over each other like this. Hopefully you got a nice crotch shot then, okay? What I'm looking to do is look directly over my thumbs like this and not let them wobble around. This is why you see pony, um, girls' ponytails when they run, they do that figure of eight. It's because um, that's the kind of momentum that you go in when you're running. So we want to cut that down, keep your shoulders facing forwards and engage your midline. So that'll look something like, let me go a bit further away from you. Okay, so what you should have seen then is my arms being nice and straight, look directly over the top. I'll go for a bad example now as well. Okay, and that was with my midline disengaged, so you can see my arms going around. Hopefully my angles were right and you can see everything that's happening. Um, if you're enjoying this, just let me know. Always engage, share the group if you can, and uh, I'll try and get that Kesbol video done for you as well. But peace out. <laughs>